Let's keep moving. It's on your right, here. Do you always clean the fifth floor? No. No, I'm going to be inside the fifth floor and come here. So each maid has her side floor. Go on. Yeah. Let me put it in the hall. Here we are. Good luck. She's all yours, sir. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Let's see. 21 years old, working at the Clarington for over a year. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father? No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. La fontaine, les filles s'en vont et s'y promènent au bras des garçons qui les entraînent au cœur des buissons où elles étreignent l'amour en saison qui les enchaîne dans un tourbillon de vrais poèmes car dans les frissons naissent toujours les plus belles chansons d'amour au clair de la J'ai vu dans tes yeux mille couleurs Quand la claire fontaine s'amusait au jeu de nos deux cœurs That means done, now just a bit of tidying up and I can go on back I'm guessing you've seen better days But you're obviously still important to someone No need to bother reception right now. Nothing like a well-made bed. A bed's not complete without its pillow. That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in?
Hmm, only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? You brought your own mug? Well, I guess ours aren't quite as complimentary. And voila, good as new. at home look at her always glued to that gossip magazine do you think she has any real friends or is it just gracie joan and marilyn well when your own life is that dull you need to get your excitement somewhere <laughs> <laughs> oh did you see rebecca come in this morning she was wearing the same clothes now don't you think you're overreacting 
This is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. <laughs> Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you didn't. No, you're right, I didn't want. I was so in love with you that I didn't see you. What? what Beth wanted to talk about. Tempting, but every penny adds up, Sophie. Mm, now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. Oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? This leak really needs to be fixed. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. I'm not sure how the children are affected by what goes on at a bar on a Friday night. But I'm no lieutenant, so... Wouldn't be surprised if everyone's a little bit more on edge today. Bad weather has a way of doing that. Ah, my new home, according to Susanna Nibet. This is horrible. I don't think I'll ever understand what pushes people to go so far as killing. Should be stuck cleaning up the reception hall after a ball. If... Hey, Beth. Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone, so I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. Oh, I try not to pay attention to them. I just find the sucking noises hard to ignore, you know? But that won't be an issue today, of course. Every sound is being drowned out by the phone's constant ringing. Because of the storm? You have no idea. You're the only person I've talked to today that hasn't mentioned the blizzard. I mean, until now. Oh. Sorry. Nah, it's alright. I guess I'm just looking for something else to talk about. Anything else. Sorry, I wish we could talk more, but if Bernard or Linda catch me here talking to you, there will be hell to pay. Ugh, oh, you're right. But it's such a stupid rule. It's not like clients... Guests. ...would lose their minds seeing a maid walk through a hotel lobby. How do they think this place gets cleaned? Magic, probably. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of cleaning, wanna guess why I summoned you here? Did you see a mouse again? <laughs> you make it sound like that would be no big deal. It would. Wouldn't it? Well, what if it was a rat? Didn't you tell me you were raised on a farm? <laughs> Those little creatures shouldn't scare you. 
Ugh, that doesn't make them any less disgusting. So, is there one or not? No, no. No rodent is involved, thank God. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. Chocolate mousse cake. Maybe Bobby wouldn't mind sneaking me a slice. Ugh, no. Bernard would have both our heads. Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and... Huh. Not just guests, apparently. Oh, God damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job, after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was, I mean, I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? No, I, I heard something and I... Hey, 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 it's okay, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm, I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just, I, I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. No, Beth called me. A guest knocked over a vase and made a mess in the lobby. Yeah, I saw that catastrophe happen. Just what we need, huh? Well, I'd rather be doing that than cleaning the reception hall with Nicole. Oof. Yeah, I don't even want to see the state of the place after this weekend. I know chocolate fountains are for dipping, but I didn't expect to find someone's shoe in there. How? <laughs> no idea. You must see plenty of weird stuff too, right? Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest room? Was this lady who had a love letter addressed to someone I know? What? No way. Uh, who was it? You. You're messing with me. <laughs> it was worth seeing your face turn red. Wow, <laughs> you got me. Oh, I uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's okay. I need to. Um... Yeah. yeah, all right. Take care. You too. That was probably not a good time to disturb Bernard. Oh, I can hardly believe you two are from the same family. In the same family. 
Bobby made it very clear he doesn't like anyone walking into his kitchen uninvited. I feel like he's like he's been avoiding my calls lately. You look so tense today. Oh, that's because I am. I've had this oh, this pain in my shoulder. Oh, right, right here. And ever since I woke up this morning. Let me have a look at it. Abe says I can get rid of even the toughest one. Abe? Abraham, sorry. Now, come here. Okay, Sophie. Time to clean up that mess. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Well, that sounds a bit excessive, don't you think? Of course, of course. We're all grateful that your employer chose the Clarington for his stay, but... All right. must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him. Ew. I better throw that away. Now I just put the leaves back in the vase, and it'll be like nothing ever happened. so peaceful about looking out at a storm from the inside where it's warm and dry I understand Mr. Ramsey I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear I really do but sadly that's not within my power Beth who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already. But... No, that's very unlikely. So, which room are you staying in, well, Mr. Spade? Speak to my manager if you'd like. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to talk to you. No, that's not it. Beth said Mr. Spade. My manager's manager. Would you like to contact him? That doesn't seem right. Sadly, he doesn't have a phone. He's a bit of an old-fashioned fella, if you know what I mean. Yes? Room 505. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. Then you clasp your hands together and think really hard about just how much you want the snowstorm to end. It may help to repeat his name, too. It's, um, God? I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Very sympathetic to your plight. Hold it, please. 
Are you okay? Yeah, it's just... I slipped on the puddle by the restrooms. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I probably should have cleaned that. Oh, no, no. It it's my fault. I should have asked Eugene to repair the leak. Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Why does he need a bucket full of snow? No idea. I don't even ask anymore. It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. What do you reckon he'll do with it? Take a bath, maybe? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he's just pulling an elaborate prank on me. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Um. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm, I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Whew. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say... I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. I should return Mr. Spade's film roll. Room 505 is on my list anyway. Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade?
Maybe I should call Beth or Andrew. They'll, they'll know what to do. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it! You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And. Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No! That's a terrible idea! But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff! But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear! I know, I know, but... Say a client reports something missing, those pictures would put a big red target on your back. So I just leave? Do nothing? Do nothing? No. But it'd be smarter to wait until you have the whole story, or at least more than you have now, before making a move. I've been in dark rooms before. Setting one up in a space that isn't made for that takes time and effort. Wait, you're a photographer? <laughs> no. I was there to look at pictures a photographer took of me. Look. All I mean to say is, there's no way he set all of this up just for a couple of pictures. There has to be more. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Do you have the safe combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. Give me a minute. Merde. Those idiots. What? I can't find the combination list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. Okay. If reception gave him a code, maybe he wrote it down. Somewhere. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room? Or did this just fall down? I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. I guess we have that in common. Film. How many pictures have you taken, Mr. Spade? That's 
rough. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? Pawning off your possessions? What do you need the money for? <laughs> 